This video is going to be a very interesting one because this is a subject that's not like talked about in the motorcycle world. I mean, I literally am not finding any YouTubes on um, um, on it. You know, what visor should you buy? What type of visor should you buy? If you're new to motorcycling, what are tinted visors about? And which one should you go for? And what tinted visor suits, you know, what scenario? You know, it's not talked about. So when Luke writes, we're going to be talking about it. Tinted visors, and specifically, a very cool kind. Dear God, it's beautiful. So, that's right, and let's talk about it. Thanks for watching. Keep holding on and find out why you should buy Neridium. Neridium visor. Very rare to see that on a motorcyclist helmet. And let me talk about it. It's not because it's crap. Because it's a stupid styling thing where so many people are all about the black tint of visor. Right. But hey, let's talk about tinted visors and Luke Wright and which one you should buy in United Kingdom, aka Britain. It's showtime. Yeah, uh, hello, biker, learner. Hey, he's got an iridium. Good man. Good man. Style. And maximum effort. That is proper, that. Raindrops are falling on my head. They keep falling. So, an iridium is a very useful bit of material. An iridium is, a, is an alloy and a rare earth element. Um, and then they're combined together to make this visor. Cool! Let's give you an idea. So the Iridium visors, one of the things I noticed that it's really good at, good at is that it cuts the glare from the sun as you're riding. So, but without making the road look too dark. It's a nice balance between it's not too dark, but it's not too light. Nice. So what it means is that when you go through a tunnel, the sun is, is super bright and it's trying to get through your visor and trying to be an absolute pain in the ass because a visor just makes the sun, as it's hitting the road, light up like a bitch. I love my eyes! My eyes! And you're obviously you're trying to ride your motorbike, so you don't need the distraction of trying to filter out the sun while riding your motorbike. Damn straight. Um, it's really good for tunnels. It's just if you're in a slightly darky, darky area, if it's a little dark at the moment, well, it's, you know, midday, honestly, it happens in Britain. You have clouds in the sky and it's like, outside still looks pretty freaking dark. Damn! But, with this, with the, the Iridium, what it would do is let you see a lot more detail compared to a blacked out visor or a black tinted visor. And, because you can see more detail, you can ride faster, you can keep at the same pace, you don't have to slow down to process and try and filter out what's ahead of you. Fucking A. Fucking A. So an Iridium it is kind of interesting because it's quite performance related, isn't it? Like as a motorcyclist it's very performance related. Yes. And and what I find is that it, it performs as a performance visor is the best I've ever had. I'm not kidding. <laughs> Oh, I feel, do you see, I, I feel like I'm wearing a clear visor, but with this, this super classy tint to it, that's really expensive, that takes the glare out of the sun, so I can really focus on my riding. And then go faster and smoother and pull away faster, and it's cool, isn't it? It's really cool, isn't it? Dear God, it's beautiful. No. Oh, this corner. Oh, this corner's lush. Yeah. Yeah, faster. Faster, faster. Power, 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 power. Woo -hoo -hoo. <laughs> so that's pretty cool, isn't it? I feel fast in this visor. Whoa, fuck. This is quick. Okay, the sun gym wants to go fast. Oh, fuck. Look. 
shit. Yeah, bunker bike. I like to call this that bunker bike. I also call her Lily. Lily! Yeah! Fucking A. Well, let me put it this way. And there's no other visor I can say that that really does this to this level. Literally, there's no other visor I've ever met that not only looks the fucking bollocks, that looks sexy and beautiful. That's sexy. I can argue I am literally seeing through a clear visor. But. I've got something better than a clear visor because and the truth shall set you free. It takes away all the hard light, all the blinding light, all the glare, and just leaves me with a soft picture that I can go fucking out. Yeah, detail done. Going faster. <laughs> fucking a. Do you get it? <laughs> Clarity in the Iridium is again really nice. Um, it makes riding actually more comfortable because it's such a nice balance between not having a super powerful black tint that makes the road seem too dark and everything around you seem too dark. It's stupid! It's stupid! But it also has just enough of a light tint that it's nice your eyes. The outside world feels nice and soft in your eyes. You can pick up on a lot of detail. Nice. So, a blacked out visor is a bit intimidating, really. Alright, listen up! I need everyone's attention! It's not, it's not a stylish look, it's not like a really good look, it's not a beautiful visor, it's just this black visor. It just, what it says about you is, what else in your life is black and dull? Do you know what I mean? What else in your life is all black and dull? Only try to realise the truth. And then the worst is when you have a blacked out visor with blacked out gear. It's stupid! It's stupid! Right, how are other car drivers supposed to see you? Right. Because now they're having to, to think about how do they see you. All they have now is just the headlights of your motorbike, which might be a bit dark. So you're not really getting yourself visible on the road. And you know that these car drivers, they're idiots. <laughs> They will literally pull out and go, oh, I didn't see you. Don't give them an excuse to pull out on you or do something stupid around you because you wore a stupid fucking tint on your visor because it's all black and dark. You can't see it. The black just sucks away all the sunlight and then takes away your visibility on the road. <laughs> What does Iridium say about you? Well, it's really interesting because Iridium says a couple of things about you. One, you're very much an individual. You don't follow the pack. You don't follow... Jesus Christ, look out! Oh my God, all the, um, you don't follow the assholes, hopefully the assholes of the world. You don't follow them. You follow your own path. A good man. So it speaks to you about how you are an individual. It also talks about your style, that you're a very stylish man. Yes. But you're also a gentleman because you're because you're comfortable with Noreen, because you're comfortable with the visor underneath. And yet you've got all these people. I mean, literally, you can drive down the road and somebody will be walking along there, see your Noreen visor, and go, "What is that?" and then look at it. Now, a lot of people that are self-conscious will go, oh, I don't want that, I'm scared of that. <laughs> and then, and then look away. But because you are an Iridium, you're saying, I am a man. You're saying, I don't, I, I, I don't care what you, what matters to me is me. Like, how I feel and how I feel about myself. So, I'm not, What's the word I'm looking for? I'm looking for the fucking word. I'm not timid, is what it's saying. I'm not timid, because you might look at me the wrong way and go, Oh my god! Oh my god, the world's doing for her! I've done something wrong! You're like, yeah, I'm rocking around a radium visor. Being a gentleman has nothing to do with one's accent. It's about being at ease in one's own skin. 
you are not scared to put on a light show for other people to put on this interesting color and when you look at it you go oh, that's really nice it's really beautiful that's sexy also it says that i'm not here to scare you i'm not here to go oh, i've got to black that visor or fucking gonna beat you up cool when iridium is like you fucking classy man look at you And it says that I I am um, I like nice things in life and I, I I like to have fun with life. That's sexy. And it says that you are a gentleman, you are a classy man, you're a good looking man, you like style, you like luxury, you like very interesting things. I love it! So do you see how it comes across? It's really interesting. Fucking A. I mean, look at that even those people are looking at me okay. because i'm wearing iridium it's interesting oh and in case i don't see you good afternoon good evening and good night and i'm not saying the iridium is about oh look at me the iridium is just a really interesting thing to look at fucking a so styling wise iridium is the sexiest most beautiful visors you are gonna meet on planet god's green earth that's sexy I don't care whether you're wearing black and you think the black is like beautiful or sexy, the iridium is so pretty. You want to see the most beautiful thing I've ever filmed? Because you're not scared to put on a light show for other people, to put on this interesting colour. And when you look at it, you go, oh, that's really nice, it's really beautiful. If you look at my external video, there's lots of colours going on here. you got your kind of dark purple, you got your kind of gritty, green, your green, a darker tint of purple, a bit of blue going on. It's like having jewellery, wearing jewellery. It's a really interesting visor to look at. Activities and road riding. Um, this is suited for all times of the year, the Rinian really Visors. Yes. Best suited for the summer and spring, but this is the only tint of visor you can get away with and wear in winter, but still feel like you're looking for a clear visor. Now that's the most amazing engineering out of the Radiant Visor. There is no other tin that I can say that gives you that. I'm not kidding. If you have a blacked out visor, you've only got a limited time. Damn! Even the Crumble, Mr. Crumble on YouTube, is not wearing black, his black visors. That's what I don't like um, this time of year, wearing a clear visor. I hate wearing a clear visor. I hate that, you know, when I get on a bike, I want to look like Johnny Badass. Made a note in my diary on the way here. Simply says, bugger. And it's like, yeah, because they're so tinted and black, you can't see what's going on ahead of you. It's stupid! It's stupid! But if you just wear a different tint like a really miser, you still have the, as if you're seeing through the clear, see as if you're seeing through clear visor just with a little bit of tint that just takes a glare out of the sun and fucking enjoy motorcycling enjoy it and ride it in your heart you know he's right fucking a fucking a <laughs> what i can tell you is i think that on the forums they talk about oh it scratches so why did you buy it like think before you talk shit well said. I can tell you, as an Iridium visor wearer of motorcycle gear, I have had this visor for two years. I've only got a few tiny scratches and they don't bother me. Honestly! Because they are so small, the Iridium coating basically just flushes out the scratches and it's as if you don't see them. From afar, you know, if your face is right up close to the visor, of course you'll see the tiny scratches, but they're tiny, honestly. The forums are over exaggerating it. I'm not kidding. Is the words I'm looking for. They're trying to say there's a fault when there isn't really a fault. You can get a scratch on a black visor. Do you know what I mean? It's stupid! If you buy genuine iridium from the brand itself, like genuine 
Neuradium visor from Tuber, if you're going to find it, it's such good quality. That's sexy. But don't believe the forums and do not believe the hate. Only try to realise the truth. The Iridium, I have found it to be really durable, so that's another plus point on the Iridium. It's, I think it's actually more durable, it feels more durable than any other tint I've ever met on the visor. And you get all the perks of an Iridium. Damn straight. And I wonder if that's what the scratching argument on the forum is about, because these guys haven't gone for a genuine visor, they've just gone fucking cheap. They've gone for the cheapest visor, and the cheapest Neridian visor possible, and wonder why it scratches so easily. Because it's fucking Chinese shit! Honestly! So I think the argument's invalid, but that's one of the points where they go, Oh, it's another thing that, you know, why you see Neridium is such a rare thing to see on the road. Motorcyclists with Neridium. They've listened to their friends. I've never listened to the forums that said, Oh, Neridium scratches. A grocery severed head. Come on, please. Do you know who I am? I'm Miss Teen. You're really giving me a headache. Oh, fucking hell. Oh, it scratches a lot. <laughs> right. Right, you're talking shit. And I suspect you treated your visor so fucking badly, you've just been bashing it and crashing it and using dirty microfibers on it and all the crap that can really just, you know, scratch glass, you know what I mean? Scratch glass, shiny surfaces. No wonder you've got a scratched Iridium visor, you dick. In your heart, you know he's right. Fucking A. You know, it's like, use your fucking brain. But hey, not everybody has a brain in brain. Honestly. Damn straight. <laughs> And I don't understand why Neridium isn't like used in racing, like used as a, a racing visor, because it is really fucking good. It feels like a tint that's towards sport riding and performance riding over just trying to give you a different look. Duh. And I have a huge respect for engineering like that, because you don't often find it. Honestly. Now, an Iridium visor, for an, ex for an example, can be as much as 50 pounds, well, can be as much as 120 pounds. Oh, um. Or as little as 60 pounds. It depends, depends which brand you go for and how they kind of look after you as being in the brand. No, I did not see that coming! Um, I find Tuba for, uh, amazing, um, I can't knock this visor. It is the best visor I've ever worn. Dear God, it's beautiful. And I've worn Shoei and all sorts of different brands. Yeah, I choose this. Shoei. Fucking A. Fucking A. <laughs> Gotta be on guard because of the car drivers. <laughs> Fuck me! You bastard! Well said. Look at that. That's sexy. The winter has been harsh on the Zed. But my god. Uh. It's a very pretty bike. I wanna be on you. And you can see I like Neridium a lot because we have an Neridium mirror. Cool! So Neridium is actually a byproduct from mining copper and n nickel ore. That's one of the densest, rarest of Earth's natural elements. Nice. Interesting, isn't it? Neridium doesn't have to be for the ultra rich or motorcycling, like, you don't have to be a posh man. A good man. Do you notice that? See, if I was in a blacked out visor, I'd have hesitated on the throttle and panicked, but because I'm in Neridium, that lets me see lots of detail. Through my visor, I'm just like on the power, just uh, powering through. A blacked out man with his blacked out visor would not be able to chase me. Honestly! So, it's kind of interesting, isn't it? The way to we all look at things. Heated grips! And Max 
maximum effort. And the radium also changes colour, so you always get like a different colour and a different look all the time, and that's really classy, that's look like really cool. It's very stylish, it's very art form, do you know what I mean? Very prestigious, very, very special that. That's sexy. And that is something that you're only going to find in the Neridium. I mean, I'm riding for the rain right now, and because I'm wearing Neridium... Not some stupid, stupid, super dark tinted fucking visor. Some stupid black visor. Right. But I could just ride at my normal pace. It's fine. You can use Neridium in the rain, in the snow, in the dry. Fucking A. Fucking A. <laughs> it says a lot about you. Uh, there will come a point where the Neridium visor, the tint is, is blocking out too much light. But you will be able to, to get further on this visor as it gets darker than any other visor I've ever met. So that's again another plus point to Meridian visors. I'm not kidding. <laughs> this bike's so much fun. <laughs> but you know, if I have anything else to add, I will add it. I will add it, man. Oh, coffee! Give me the coffee! I want fucking coffee in my belly! In my belly! <laughs> Give me a bit of coffee and... Oh, you cheeky transported twat. I mean, that really got out of hand fast. It jumped up a notch. It did, didn't it? Yeah, I stabbed a man in the heart. Pulling out. It's supposed to be my right of way, but hey. He's a cheeky transporter. Probably doesn't give a shit. 60% of the time, it works every time. Who's to say? Ha <laughs> ha. Such a beautiful noise from the Z. It's like, oh, it's like lush. Thanks for watching. Bye. The way we. The little rascal has spirit. That's awesome. This is the end of the trail for me. Thank you. Yeah. Thank you, kid. This BMW is fucking quick, isn't it? Typical BMW, some of the fastest cars on the road. That is a really fucking fast car. <laughs> wow. Respect. Respect.